no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net The festering pile of fetid, worm-ridden, rabies-carrying demon's breath that is Fox News uses certain tricks to shift viewers' hearts and minds toward whatever load of humanity-rotting bile they're spewing in any given week that smells worse than Henry Paulson's breath after blowing Lucifer every Tuesday. These tactics are well known to a lot of you, and many of them are used by much of the corporate media. But I'm going to go through a few because I figure you probably haven't heard them listed with this many curse words. Step one, scare people. Because frightened people don't think rationally. Think about it. Were you thinking rationally when your brother woke you up in the middle of the night wearing a mask and then doused you in cold water while telling you you were adopted? I fucking doubt it. You were more likely thinking, does that werewolf work for the adoption agency or what? Step two, use projection. This is a psychology term for accusing others of what you yourself are guilty of. Like when Bill O'Reilly says that the left wing is racist or sexist or homophobic or anti-immigrant or can only get it up when the woman is wearing a Bill O'Reilly mask. That's called projection. They're scared of shit sticking to them, so they hurl it at the other guy first. Monkeys use this tactic, too. Step three. Imply that people who don't see things your way are idiots. Now, I realize you might be thinking, wait a second, Lee, you do that all the time. But my response to that is, you're an idiot. Okay, maybe I do do that, but I don't do it as some kind of manipulation trick. I simply do it because you're an idiot. Step four, use repetition to pound your ideas into people's heads. And I don't mean like repeating good points a few times. I mean phrases and shit like drill baby drill said to the point of nausea, even though it's trading on the commodities market that actually affects oil prices, not whether ExxonMobil can stick a new pipeline up your asphalt. Another example is the phrase class warfare, which is a combination of repetition, fear-mongering, and projection. The rare trifecta. Before you know it, Fox News viewers are hiding in their basements ready to use the stand-your-ground law to shoot anyone who doesn't look like them, i.e. has more than seven teeth. Anyway, that's just a few of the tactics they use. There are others, such as having the female hosts open their legs directly into camera three. And I'm sure many of you are thinking, it's not just Fox News that uses these tricks, it's other corporate media too. And I agree with you to some extent, but Fox is by far the worst culprit. Not only because no one wants to see Wolf Blitzer open his legs directly into camera. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. And these four tactics were originally listed by Dr. Cynthia Bose over at Truthout.org. You can read her whole article there. And uh, please donate what you believe this episode was worth at LeeCamp.net. Thanks a lot. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.